for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, and today I'm going to be going over the market. If you guys remember a few weeks ago, I talked about the market prior to leaving to LA. I made some predictions for what would happen, and they have happened. The bottom has fallen out. The market is at the lowest point it's been all year. It is kind of ridiculous at this point. It makes it very hard to kind of want to even hold on to cards at this point if you're just going to lose money if you don't sell them again in a few days. But before I get into the video, boys, we're at about 1,970 subs. We are 30 subs away from 2K. Go drop that sub for me. Please, it'll help me out a ton. Let's get to 2K sub that tonight. Also, I still have this 75K coin quick, so I'll show you guys right here. I still have it. It's still up for grabs. Comment down below 75K coins, or just 75K. If we get to 150 likes and you guys comment on 75K, I will give you this right here. It's right there, ready to be given to someone. And I just did the other giveaway. The giveaway winner was announced. If you haven't seen it, go check out that video after this video, of course. But let's get into the video, guys. Make sure to hit 150 likes, comment down 75K, and just drop the sub. Let's get there. So let's go over the market real quick. So the first prediction that I made a few weeks ago was that not to buy Vic, the bottom will fall out. He will crash bad, and you're going to lose a ton of coins. Obviously, it was bound to happen, in my opinion. But look, ignore the Ultimate Legends for now. 440K for Vic. People were buying this card for a million coins when it first came out at 900. I said, wait, 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 wait. And I did. This Tom Brady's 475. I mean, that was kind of expected for a Brady card. But this Vic card, he's dying. Let's go check the Lawrence Taylor. Vic, you could, I'd, I'd buy Vic at this point, but he's probably going to go down even more, just a little bit. So if you want to wait, I recommend waiting. And I told you Lawrence Taylor would follow right behind next. The 99 cards, Telvin Smith, is literally 450. The market is at an all time low right now. If you look at the typical Ultimate Legends, let me just show you what the training points per uh, coins are. So I guess Ultimate Legend only. Pull out the calculator. Cheapest Ultimate Legend is 241 right now. Let me show you what this looks like. So 241 divided by 36,000. Training points are at 6.69 coins per training. That's the lowest it has been all year. This is getting kind of ridiculous at this point, how bad the market is. And it's all due to training, truthfully. Training has killed the value of cards, per se. Because, like, okay, so obviously, like, maybe this, this Ray right here, stats are, stats are decent. Low speed at a linebacker. Maybe he's worth 250 to 300K. Maybe Walter Payton because he's a running back. He's worth that. But maybe this Deacon Jones isn't. This Deacon Jones is probably worth a lot more than he's going for. Like, this Night Train Lane's worth not too much because of speed. But a lot of cards, like this Tony Gonzalez is insane, probably. Ah, uh, speed too. But the point I'm trying to make here is like Calvin. Calvin is a top wide receiver in the game. It's already been proven. You know, he's, he's a beast, Megatron. But his value is going to be cheap because he's a training value like michael vick michael vick is 440k should he be more probably but because he's quick sells for training he's going to be worth a similar value to other guys like it, it's it's true training and being able to power past limiteds and the whole vol volatility of the market right now has literally made everyone not valuable like it sucks that like right what i hate about these promos that aren't exciting is like when i when i when i let's say i want a random 98 overall card does it matter what card I get? Not really, because they're all going to be almost the same value. So, like, in my head, it's like, whatever card I get, I can just sell and get mine. It used to be more exciting when you could get one that goes for 800k. Like, this Roquan Smith could go for 600k, this Bose could go for 600 and this Delaney Walker was 300 Like, within the promo, there was values. Now, every promo, it's like they release eight Ultimate Legends. In a month, they will all be the same value. I literally told you guys that, that the values are going to be staying the same due to training. So, that's probably, like, a big thing that's going to change next year, because training has made the market kind of horrible this year. I look at this you, you you like now you even know when you pull a certain car you already know what they go for it's no there's no excitement anymore like a 90 overall 90 overall 25k 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 there's no they're all gonna be around the same value because there's a training there's a training on them like i remember years past you'd get a card and you'd be like what's he go for now it's like 88k okay that's going for no more than a few k meanwhile in years past you can get cards that were like an 81 overall that went to like some big expensive set and that car could be going for 400k like, I'm not even joking. Like, that was, like, a thing. There was a silver card a few years back. I used to do that. He was a, It was an end on the lines. Pretty sure. And it was, like, a 67 overall silver. Or 71 overall silver. And he was in the lines set. And he literally would sell for, like, 60K. Because he was part of, like, the, the position hero set also. Can't remember this guy's name. Right now. I think it was Madden 13, too. The one I'm thinking of, at least. 
But just getting the point across is that this market is just, it's messed up how it works this year at this point. Kind of upsetting. It's made me not want to really touch um, buying. Like, I don't mind flipping cards right now. Buying cards, selling cards, making some coins. But it doesn't make me want to keep a card. It doesn't make me want to buy a team. It's just not worth it at this point. Because if you buy you buy a team in two weeks, that team's worth it. You literally lose. Like, imagine you saved a million coins. You buy a team, you lose that in a half a week. A week or two, you already lost coins. Like, a few months ago, you were able to buy a team and hold it for pretty long. But now the market's crashing. But they're all crashing, not just one player. Like, if, if, if the market crashes, everyone crashes. In years past, it wasn't like that. Like, if a right tackle came out, the right tackles would crash. But that's not how it works. For Ultimate Legends, they all crash. Look at these prices. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying these should be that expensive. But there should be rarer ones than others, right? Like, okay, Jordan Poirier, maybe not. Maybe Travis Frederick, not. Maybe these cards, not. But then you go up and it's like... Should Ladainian Thomason be this cheap? But he's a running back, okay? So you can make the argument for that. Jonathan Ogden, okay, that's an old card. You can make the argument for that. But they're all the same price. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. And older cards, were, and the worst part is that older cards retain value because of training. Like, Ed Reed came out months ago, and years past, this Ed Reed already would be a lot cheaper. But it can't be because it has a, it has a training value on it. Now, these 98.99s, should this Joey Bosa that just came out be the same price as this Ray, um is Walter Payton probably not but they're both gonna be around the same because of the same training value so in this year it makes it less exciting let's say because like I said no matter what you pull if you pull a like 98 overall cool I can sell and go get any other 98 overall in the game it's like getting a raffle for 198 overall like it's not it's not as exciting I remember back when like you can get the AP 99 three star that sold for like a million coins or you can get another three star that only sold for like 500 coins because 500,000 coins it wasn't as it wasn't as good or rare, you know what I'm saying? There's no rarity anymore. But if I were you guys, how I'd capitalize on this, let's just say, would be, first off, these 9091s are always a good move right here. Snipe these guys out for about 20K and just keep reselling them. Always a move. But if I'm going to talk about these 98, 99s, the ways it capitalizes, sell your team. Sell your team. It is not worth holding onto cards right now at all. They're just going down by the day. It sucks if you have to sell them. I mean, at this point, if you want to just keep them and take your losses, that's one thing to do. But if I were you guys, first off, these cards, it's funny because in months past, you could buy these 98s right here, these new ones that go for a currency, buy them, and then in a month, their value would go back up because they were trading. People already know what's going to happen. So these cards are already going for the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like during the freeze promo, you can get a really cheap 96, and then we were able to resell them when they trade, when they turned over to training. But now they're the same value. So like this is training, and then this will be training, but they're the same price. I mean, you could try snapping on Ultimate Legends. That's one way of doing this. But, I mean, that's just, it's, you know, it's sniping. Well-known thing. There's no really opportunity to flip right now. I would sell. I'd sell house. I'd wait. I'd, I won't because my car, my team's all trained up with cams and stuff. But, like, I would just wait at this point. Wait till the market finds some kind of st stability. Maybe towards the Easter promo. Maybe towards Golden Tickets. Because think about it this way. You keep, you keep this, let's say that Michael Vick right now. You keep that card. Let's not use Michael Vick. Let's say, uh, like, Walter Payton. You keep this Walter Payton right now. In a few months, or, like, a month or two, when golden tickets come out and all the best running backs in the game come out, this Walter Payton will be no more than 150K. That is when the market's going to be truthfully cheap, cheap. So, a million coins today will be worth way more in a month and can get you way more than it can right now. So, the move right now might be, honestly, just to sell off that million coins. Let me sell off the team and hold on to coins. That's why I haven't really touched my coins. I haven't really bought much. I mean, I'm doing the giveaways, obviously, but that's because someone else donated it. But I have not had any motivation to touch my coin stack at all. It doesn't make sense to me at this point. The market is dead, dead. For real, like, it's actually destroyed. Wouldn't even bother touching the market. That's just my overall opinion on this, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys... If you guys don't agree, comment down below what you think. Let me know. Also, guys, it's been a very slow few days on YouTube. Don't know why. It's very weird. For me, at least, it was, it was, it's weird. If you look at my thing, it was like 100 subs, 100 subs, 50 subs, 80 subs, 90 subs, 5 subs. And then today's zero. I don't, I don't know why. Could it be my content? Possibly. I don't know. It's very, it was, it was like, it's like I just like fell off a cliff. It's just the weirdest part. There was no trend to it. But it would mean a lot if you guys could just get me to 2K subs by tonight. Drop a like. Comment 75K down below, like I was, like I said. Uh, the, the, by the way, the new giveaway is up. The 300K giveaway. Go look at the last video I just posted. Go enter, comment the ranger K in that. There's the winner now, so if you're the winner, go check it out. And you might be the winner. And if you're not, just go enter the new one. There's going to be two more. And I got today the 75K. It's like a million coins worth of giveaways. Don't miss out. Probably be one of the last few really, really big ones I do for the rest of the year. Because as the year, you know, as the year slows down, people stop playing. Less people to give to. 
but less reason for it as I'm going to stop, you know, gaining that many coins as I used to. You know what I'm saying? That makes sense to you. Also, I don't know if I'm going to get another 800k donation again anyway, so that was kind of one thing. But that's all for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and sub. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.